Hello folks, uh, today I have a question of 2021, May, June, November 1, 3 and the question number is 5. It is concerned with the chapter uh, measurements. So it is about uncertainty. I haven't dealt with this for a long, long time uh, because uh, in those days I dealt with them a lot and uh, thinking that uh, people will be bored. I didn't do so. Here I have again a new question. So let me refresh that. So it says the diameter of a circular disk is measured as a 7.0 plus minus uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. So it is uh, D and it will be delta D let us say. What is the area of the disk and the absolute uncertainty in the area? So area plus uh, the uncertainty. So area is simply uh, this A, A equal to pi D square by 4 equal to uh, pi then 7.0 squared uh, by 4 so it will be if I do the calculations it will be really uh, shift uh, pi uh, into d is 7 7 uh, squared uh, then divided uh, divided 4 sorry sorry it is the cursor then somewhere else uh, divided 4 equal to so it gave me 38.48451 so I used uh, more than uh, uh, 56 SF uh, so that uh, uh, I can do proper rounding off so you should not be doing rounding off in the beginning rounding off starts only after you we get all the quantities now I need to find the uncertainty so the formula for that will be since area is equal to pi d square by 4 we have delta a by a should be equal to the first is delta pi by pi pi is a constant quantity it does not have any variation so that's why it is 0 so delta pi by p, pi is 0 plus uh, d square so it will be 2 delta d by d or I can even say delta 4 by 4 now what happens is these two quantities will be zeros pi does not change so it is 0 4 does not change it is 0 so that's why I must have uh, delta a is equal to 2 a delta d by d so let's put the quantities so that's equal to 2 into a is the full quantity here so when we do calculations we have to use the full quantity not the uh, not the shortened quantity not the not the manipulated quantity so I will use uh, 38.48451 into delta D is 0 0.1 and D is 7.0 so this will be will be will be, will be uh, into 2 uh, into 0 0.1 divided 7 equal to it becomes 1.099557 and so on now the rule the rule that we have is uh, first of all the uncertainty should be either 1 or 2 SF the uncertainty should be either 1 or 2 SF so here we have only 1 SF uncertainty so I will take here 1 1 1 SF so it will be equal to simply 1 so uncertainty is 1 now if it is 1 now if it is 1 so if the uncertainty is 1 then our quantity is uh, it is 38 uh, 38 point sorry let me use it here so this is a 1 it is 1 the quantity is 38.48451 so if this is here it is uh, one place uh, in front of decimal not behind decimal in a decimal so I can use only I can write only up to this quantity I should not write this, I should not write this, I should not write this, should not write this, like this. I can write I can write this and this. And then when I write this, I have to look at these quantities for rounding up. So these things are less than half. So it is the it is maintained. So it should be it should be it should be uh, 38. So it should be 38 plus minus plus minus 1. So this is 1 here, 1 here and then 38 here so this is the correct choice correct choice now in uh, some approaches what we can also do is I am going beyond this these choices uh, in some approaches we are allowed two significant figure for uh, uncertainty two significant figure for uncertainty so if uh, in that case I will have 
I'll have uh, this is one so I have to round it up I can write up to here and when I write this thing I have to take consideration of these quantities so since nine it becomes one so it is 1.1 1 1.1 .1. 1 .1. so if uh, two SF errors are given here answer is given here it will be 1.1 will be the correct choice then the front quantity will be 38 so it could be 38 plus minus 1.1 not 38 point something it is 38 point nothing plus minus 1.1 so either this is correct or this is correct nothing else is correct nothing else is correct it is not 38.5 or something it is 38 so this is the correct choice and uh, uh, in some cases might be they are given in two SF for uncertainty in such cases this could be correct choice